Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about the system known as GW Orionis located not so far from the famous Beetlejuice. And the discovery coming from the system that was made only a few days ago that suggests very unusual, very strange but also very massive planetary ring that we've never really seen before. In other words, we're going to talk about how these unusual triple star systems form their planets. And all of this is based on very, very accurate observations coming out of European Southern Observatory, where the scientists using the sphere instrument were actually able to observe the tiny, tiny shadows formed by the interaction between the stars and the ring. So let's discuss this in a little bit more detail. And to start, well, we have to start right here, on Tatooine, the famous scene from Star Wars where Luke Skywalker gets to look into the skies of his home planet to discover that there are two stars orbiting around the planet, and this of course led to wide speculations of what these types of star systems might look like, and what sort of peculiar structures could be formed by these double star systems. Now today, interestingly, we know that approximately half or actually even more than half of all of the stars in our galaxy have partners. Basically, most of them are double stars or even triple stars. The nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, is one such star with the binary main binary known as Alpha Centauri A and B and the third partner known as Proxim Centauri connected to the binary. And so in some sense, the discovery coming from the paper that I'm discussing today directly sort of applies to the Alpha Centauri system because it's also a triple star system. But these binary and triple star systems create a lot of complexity when it comes to the actual planetary disk itself. It is very difficult for these types of star systems to create a flat, permanent and stable planetary disk like the one we have in our own solar system. As a matter of fact, the type of a planetary disk we have is sort of on the rare side. Because of the interaction with other stars, it's very likely that most of these disks usually become warped and result in very unusual planetary orbits. So this is what scientists speculated for a very long time, but now we have direct observation and direct proof that a triple star system does create very, very peculiar disks. So this particular star system is located not so far away from the famous Betelgeuse, right here in the Orion system. And more specifically, it's the part of the cloud that you kind of see, and you could even see this with a telescope, but you have to take a long exposure shot in order to reveal the full beauty of this very, very gorgeous star system and the tremendous molecular cloud present in this area. Here's what the actual photo of this looks like from Hubble telescope with Betelgeuse in the bottom left. But the star we're talking about today is somewhere inside of this so-called Lambda Orionis ring, which was actually formed by a supernova approximately 1 million years ago. Here's another image showing what all of this looks like in infrared, once again with Betelgeuse being right here. At a distance of over 1300 light years away from us, this star system is surprisingly easy to see simply because of the tremendously large planetary disk that you see on the screen. It's also one of the most, if not the most massive planetary disk we've discovered, suggesting that it can potentially create extremely large planets. And the star system possesses three stars orbiting one another every 240 days, and the two bigger stars orbit the smaller star every 4,200 days. So it's a very complex and very peculiar but also very beautiful dance that these stars create around one another. And because of this, and because of all of the gravitational interaction here, it creates a very peculiar disk. A disk like we've never seen before. And this is sort of what the scientists believe it looks like. Now here, you can imagine this will create very, very strange, very unusual orbits once the planetary system becomes more mature. Because at the moment, this is still a protoplanetary system, and even these stars themselves are not even main sequence yet. They haven't really completed their evolution to become stars like our Sun. But eventually, in the next few million years, this will complete its evolution and will create very strange orbits, which the scientists behind this paper believe might look something like this. And this is obviously not something we originally anticipated to discover and not something we expected to find in these triple systems. But right now, this is kind of what it looks like. 
And all of this is further reinforced when the scientists ran different simulations to discover that this is indeed the type of a, an unusual planetary disk that should be created when these triple star systems start interacting with one another. You can kind of see the strange ring forming in the middle there with another bigger ring around it. But unfortunately by the time that it matures and becomes an actual planetary system, um, we're probably not going to be around anymore. Mostly because this will probably take a few million years from now. Now, interestingly, the measurements so far suggest that the ring itself is about 400 astronomical units in size and has a very high inclination. You can sort of see it right here, and this is about 136 degrees from the original flat disk that you see right here and also right here. Which also means that the planets that do form here eventually will be extremely different in terms of the orbital parameters from what we expect to form in a typical system like our own solar system. Also, the inner disk alone here contains roughly around 30 masses of planet Earth, which means that it can potentially create quite a lot of large enough super-Earths and possibly even small Neptunes with even more stranger planets forming on the outskirts as well. And interestingly, because of this little break you see in the middle between the larger ring and the smaller ring, the scientists behind this paper have already suggested that maybe one of the protoplanetary planets has already started forming in between them, and this is what sort of broke the larger disk into two smaller disks, and eventually led them to have these unusual inclinations toward one another. But because of the observations from this system, this might also imply that Alpha Centauri and Proxima Centauri might have these unusually inclined planets as well, and we were just looking for the planets in a completely wrong place. In other words, by studying what we've discovered in this system and by realizing these inclinations can actually form very, very unusual orbits of planets, we might be able to finally find planets in the Alpha Centauri and even more planets in the Proxima Centauri systems, the closest stars to us. But I guess one of the coolest parts of this paper is how they discovered the shape to begin with. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it was actually by looking at these tiny shadows formed by the smaller ring as it casts the shadow on the bigger ring. And that's actually kind of mind-blowing. By just looking at the shadows that were being created by the small ring, the scientists were then able to work out what all of this looks like in three dimensions and were then able to analyze the rest of the star system with extreme detail. Which of course means we'll be able to apply similar techniques to discover other unusual objects and other unusual planets or planetary rings around other stars as well. But in this particular case, the star known as GW Orionis is still one of the strangest protoplanetary star systems we've discovered so far. Extremely massive, very strange shape, and on top of that it also seems to possess very high signs of calcium lines, suggesting that it was probably influenced by a nearby calcium supernova. In other words, there are a lot of interesting things about this particular star system, which means that many different studies will be covering this star in a lot more detail in the future, and we might discover even more interesting things about it. And because this is the closest and also most active planetary formation area in the vicinity of planet Earth, even though it's a distance of about 1200 light years away from us, this might help us discover other unusual star systems that are being created here and also help us understand how various types of supernova lead to the creation of different stars and of course different planets. Because it looks like this is exactly what happened here. A supernova led to the creation of these stars and by studying what happened here we might be able to understand how our own planet and our own star system was formed and maybe even discover similar star systems nearby. But until we learn more about these unusual triple star systems, or until we learn more about GW Orionis, that is all I wanted to mention in this video. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else. Also, maybe support this channel by buying the wonderful person t-shirt, or by supporting this channel on Patreon. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.